Hello everyone, welcome to Adha Daruna Base 24. Now I have a question, how many of you are interested in housing and construction? I'm sure most of us are. Now this program is particularly for you because today we are going to talk about the Chamber of Construction Industry of Sri Lanka organizing or rather hosting the Build Sri Lanka International Housing and Construction Expo 2022 which will be held on the 18th, 19th and the 20th of this month at the Sri Mao Bandaranaike International Conference Hall. Now to talk about this I have two guests here with me today. Let me now introduce them to you. First of all, let me take the pleasure in introducing the President-elect of CCISL, Architect Jayanta Pereira. Hello to Hello. you, Mr. Pereira. How are you? I am doing Thank great. You. How have you Thank been? Thank you. <laughs> and next, I would like to introduce you to the Secretary-General, CEO of Chamber of Construction Industry of Sri Lanka, none other than Engineer Nissanka Vijay Ratna. Hello to you, Mr. Vijay Ratna. Hello, how are you? I am doing great as usual. <laughs> I am sure all of you are doing well as well. I am sure the days are busy as the uh, exhibition days are getting closer on the 18th, 19th and 20th at the Sri Mao Bandaranaike International Hall. So, as we start speaking a little bit about this program, this is Build Sri Lanka International Housing and Construction Expo 2022. And this year, y'all are hosting it for the 17th time. So let's talk a little bit about the journey that y'all have had and what are the key highlights for this year particularly, uh, Mr. Jayanth. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, we have been having this for the last 17 years. This is the 17th year that mm -hmm. we are having this. Mm -hmm. And our main purpose of having this is to educate or take the message of what is happening in the industry to the public, mm -hmm. right? not only the local public but yeah. also the international public mm -hmm. and uh, normally we have about 200 stalls or more than 200 stalls in the past but this year the numbers have come down but we are doing very well we are having more than 150 stalls right, right. and uh, I think this is one of the first of this kind mm -hmm. after the COVID yeah right of this uh, size and of this kind happening relatively to our industry, the construction mm -hmm. industry, and I'm sure there will be a big crowd mm -hmm. coming there this time. Yeah, I'm sure let's look look forward for it because everybody has gone through hard times and exhibitions is not a word that we all heard for the past few years. So we are back on track. And to talk about this, um, let's talk a little bit about the objectives, Mr. Vijay Ratna. What are your objectives of this Expo 2022? Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, we are organizing this uh, exhibition at a time when the construction industry is going through a very difficult period. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we had the COVID-19 uh, outbreak. And when we were about to uh, come up from the COVID-19 outbreak uh, lockdowns, now we have got the dollar crisis. Uh, if I may mention, during the year 2021, the total construction costs as per official statistics got increased by 23.5% uh, mm -hmm. and now during the last one week uh, rupee was devalued by 33%. Mm -hmm. So this would mean that the total construction cost would have gone up by at least 70% during the last uh, 12 months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now uh, this has put the construction community in a very bad situation. Uh, so the, we have organized this uh, Ex exhibition uh, to mm -hmm. cultivate uh, some degree of confidence among the construction community, developers, investors and the common public mm -hmm. to show that in spite of all these obstacles that we are facing today, we can really get together and build Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. uh, then another uh, objective of this exhibition is to create a platform for the construction companies, that is construction, consultancy companies, as well as manufacturing, supplying companies, uh, to meet with the end users. Mm -hmm. uh, and also foreign companies to identify their partners in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are trying to create a platform for all these parties to meet together. and. Uh, uh, develop linkages. Mm. So these are the main objectives and we feel that from the responses we have received so far and especially considering that we are having 
a major exhibition after 18 months, mm -hmm. where last year no one could hold any exhibition. Uh, this time, this exhibition will be a, a major hit, I would say. So, along the line, Mr. Vijayaratna, I would also like to ask you the question now, what are some of the modern challenges and obstacles that you have identified in this housing and construction industry? Uh, in Sri Lanka, right now, the main obstacle is to find the required materials. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, last uh, few uh, weeks, we had a severe problem finding cement. Mm -hmm. uh, now, of course, cement is available, but at a price. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, uh, sourcing tiles uh, in required uh, de designs, that is still a problem. And even if uh, locally uh, manufactured tiles, uh, uh, someone wants to get, they had to wait, stay in a waiting list for about at least six months. Oh, okay. So, the, uh, these are the main challenges that which are coming because of the uh, foreign exchange crisis, mm -hmm. so shortage of materials. Yeah. Then right now, uh, we are also faced with a problem of finding the suitable uh, skilled manpower. Mm -hmm. Because uh, during the COVID breakdown, m uh, many of our uh, skilled workers went back to their homes. And uh, because of the long period without work, they got involved in other activities like agriculture mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, small, small building works in, in their uh, village communities. Mm -hmm. And as a result, w once the things became normal, uh, most of them didn't come back. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is felt mostly by the construction sites in, uh, in and around uh, Colombo, right. uh, okay. maybe the Colombo district. Mm -hmm. So, that is another obstacle we are having. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, uh, the challenge from uh, challenge exerted by the foreign companies mm -hmm. uh, to our local companies. Mm -hmm. uh, so, these are some of the major obstacles, but I am sure uh, we will overcome this in uh, time to come. Right. And um, as you think it is going to help the expo, the whole build Sri Lanka concept is going to help uh, cover up most of the challenges and come up? Now, as I mentioned before, one of the objectives of this exhibition is to create a platform for all these interested parties to meet up. Yeah, to come together so, and, and build develop Sri Lanka. linkages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is interesting. Now, um, as we talk about so many industries, you know, we keep talking about different kinds of industries, but when it comes to construction industry, I would like to ask, innovation and use of technology are two different things that we would like to keep on improving, keep on adding to any industry. How has this <coughs> been involved or applied in the construction industry, Mr. Pereira? Very pertinent question. Uh, after the COVID, mm -hmm. technology, the the use of technology has become very, very vital. Mm -hmm. okay. Right now, if you take the consultants who are working in the construction industry, mm -hmm. most of them are working from home, mm -hmm. right? Who never thought of this yeah. in, the, in the past, right? Now yeah. they are taking working from home. On the other hand, the construction industry is in a in a process of developing technology to the extent that in the future, in the very near future. There won't be buildings constructed, but there will be buildings manufactured. That is what is going to happen. And if you can, I, I can recollect uh, recently, about one year, two years ago, mm -hmm. a building in China mm -hmm. was built. A 22 story building was built in just seven days. Right? Now, that building is a manufactured building, not a. So, what in this exhibition, right, mm -hmm. we will be highlighting certain technologies that can be useful for the industry, for okay. the future of the industry. So, these are things that we want to sort of bring in discussions during the exhibition period as uh, engineer Nisanka said, it is a platform for everybody to get together, mm -hmm. right, to know each other and we are having some foreign uh, uh, constructors exhibiting their stuff, right. Mm -hmm. So, some of these people will be involved in this manufacturing thing I told you. Oh, interesting. So, it is like, right. So, so this is again a, a way forward mm -hmm. for the industry personnel or the teams or the partners of the industry to have a dialogue mm -hmm. and to see how best we can develop our industry in technology and innovation. 
Amazing. I think that's where the future is, right, in any industry. And amazing to um, hear that construction industry is also getting there in Sri Lanka. And along the line, as what, from what you have spoken right now, what I can understand is it's an exhibition with a lot of exposure, local and foreigners also coming in. But let's talk about what are some of the new business opportunities and how is the employment opportunities through this ex ex exhibition? One of the things that we have introduced this year mm -hmm. is a job market. Oh, okay. Right? Because there are a lot of uh, foreign contractors, right, who are operating here, mm -hmm. right? Of course, they, are, uh, they have the local partners, mm -hmm. right? And some of them are looking for local craftsmen, local builders to join, right? Mm -hmm. And also they are looking for some of them to, for their foreign, foreign contracts, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So we are going to have a job market so that those who are interested, I'm sure a lot of people will be interested, right, yeah. to come and speak to these foreign contractors mm -hmm. and then see whether they can get employment here or abroad mm -hmm. in their companies, right, in the industry. So that is one other thing. Other one is the mainly uh, is this exhibition will expose what our industry can do, mm. right. And what we are looking, um, we are what the way we are going forward, mm -hmm. so that the investors will also look at, oh right, here, here is a well organized construction industry, yeah. right? So let's see, let's see whether we should come and invest yeah. in this country, right? Because this is a very organized industry in this country. So mm -hmm. those are the objectives. Uh, and what we are planning. The opportunities to, also, for, also everyone. for the industry. Yeah. Yes. I think that's that's pretty interesting. A range of opportunities <coughs> for everyone who comes to the exhibition, as I can see. As you know, this is the Build Sri Lanka International Housing and Construction Expo 2022, which is going to be held on the 18th, 19th, and the 20th of this month at the Sirimau Bandar Naika Conference Hall. So we will we would like to take a break now and be back soon. Welcome back after the break. As you know, we're talking about Build Sri Lanka International Housing and Construction Expo 2022 organized by Chamber of Construction Industry of Sri Lanka. Now, to continue the conversation, I would like to ask Mr. Vijay Ratna, do stakeholders outside the construction industry get involved in this and what kind of opportunities they have through this expo? Yeah, actually, when you, when you say uh, stakeholders of construction industry, we mean who are directly involved with the construction industry, right. like construction, consultancy, manufacturing and supplying. Mm. And of course, uh, uh, providers of heavy, heavy equipment. Mm -hmm. But then uh, the, there are others who are providing various services, yeah. like communications, maybe uh, uh, supplying services, mm -hmm. transport services. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, that's that kind of company, banking services, banking, mm -hmm. insurance. Mm -hmm. So, actually insurance and banking uh, are very important uh, segments uh, of service providers to the construction industry. Definitely. So, they also take part in this industry as locally. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, from, apart from that, there are many uh, foreign companies mm -hmm. who are taking part, especially from China, India, Dubai and uh, some European countries as well. Uh, who are taking part in this uh, exhibition. Uh, as Mr. Jayantavera said, the job market uh, is organized by the Chinese Chamber of Commerce oh, okay. uh, to source uh, required manpower mm -hmm. for their Chinese projects here and overseas, both. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that is a good opportunity for our Sri Lankan uh, youth mm -hmm. uh, to seek uh, gainful employment. Yeah. Then. Uh, in fact, we got an inquiry from a uh, delegation from Lithuania oh, to visit uh, the exhibition. So, they okay. also will be visiting uh, uh, on uh, 19 Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, they, they, likewise, they, there are uh, in, uh, interest from many parties who are not directly linked to the construction mm -hmm. industry as well, because they are providing various services. Okay. So, um, just a follow-up question. Like you said, there are many countries interested in They are coming in as participants for the expo or do they also come in as stakeholders, for, as foreign stakeholders? Do we have foreign stakeholders for the expo? Uh, 
the companies coming from India, uh, UAE, China and Europe, mm -hmm. they are participating and they are, they are having stalls at the exhibition. Right, okay. Yeah, so, they, they are displaying their products and services. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it is uh, I think uh, really an international housing and construction exhibition what we are going to have. Yeah, definitely it is. I mean, it is good to be back, right, after the whole COVID-19 situation and good to have something like this coming up where international and local relationships also enriches. Um, along the line, now, how do, how can people really join this exhibition, Mr. Pereira? What is the way? How can uh, people attend? Anybody can mm -hmm. come and see the exhibition. There is mm -hmm. no restriction, right? Mm -hmm. But regard to participation, uh, the participation has been as um, Mr. Vijayaratne explained participation has been in the, with the stakeholders of the mm -hmm. industry mainly mm -hmm. and who are uh, related, mm -hmm. who are in, having connections with the industry. So, the main uh, objective mm -hmm. of this participants, that is why we said anybody can come, mm, yeah. but the main participants will be in my opinion, the people who want to build, right? Those who want to build a house. Mm or a building, hmm. they can come there. Then there will be all the, 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 the builders, then suppliers, material suppliers will also be exhibited there. So, hmm. they can have a direct chat in, mm -hmm. in one place. Otherwise, you have to go to the internet and find all these things and you have to go to shop from shop to shop. Here, yeah. every, all things are available. So, they can come and discuss with everybody on the same platform and then decide, okay, we are going hmm. to, to do this or that. So, that is the main theme mm -hmm. or, uh, of getting this, as Mr. Vijayan said, getting everybody together so that people who visit that can have access to all these people who are involved mm -hmm. in the industry. And finally, everyone will be able to make a decision at the That's expo right. itself, exactly. right? Yeah. And uh, this year, what is the expected, uh, approximately, what is the expected number of viewers? In fact, uh, we have been having some statistics in the past. We have. Uh, got over 100,000 people huh? visiting in the past. But with being this being one of the first related to our industry mm -hmm. happening after the COVID, yeah. I think we, we are predicting uh, at least a 75,000 group of people, people within three days to visit this place. Yeah. Yes. I'm sure you will exceed that. Let's let's have our fingers crossed yes, on that correct. as well. Exactly. <laughs> um, now, I, as we come into a closing, before we bring everything to a closing, I would like to ask: What are the parties that support you to get this all successfully up and running? The expo. Would you like to highlight on yes. that, or Mr. Vijay Ratna? Yeah, Mr. Vijay Ratna will answer yeah. that. Yeah. For now, uh, I said that we are having this exhibition after a lapse of 18 months. Mm -hmm. During last whole of last year, no no one could hold any exhibition. Yeah. And uh, when we started this, uh, when we were planning this exhibition, uh, some of us were not very sure whether we could uh, organize a successful exhibition. Mm -hmm. But uh, some of us uh, wanted to go to, to have this exhibition to generate uh, confidence for the industry as I said before. Mm -hmm. But I must say uh, now the outcome has been very, very uh, successful mm -hmm. and I think this year we have got the uh, highest response from our sponsors. Amazing. During the last 17 years, mm -hmm. we haven't got a response like this year from our sponsors. Mm -hmm. So, I think uh, on that note, uh, we can uh, confidently say that this time exhibition will attract large crowds. Right. Uh, and, uh, and also for those who are visiting the exhibition, uh, there will be a raffle, many raffle draws through the entrance ticket. Mm. And they will be, uh, those who are lucky will get very valuable gifts. Oh, okay. That is a pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. On, the, on that note, we, as we bring the whole uh, program to a closing, how would you like to invite everyone who is watching us right now to be a part of this yeah, expo? I would say, please come and see this exhibition because this mm -hmm. is an exhibition that has been having for the last so many years but has been lacked for the last two years. Mm -hmm. And those who are worried about to build, so they will get all their worries off, right? Mm -hmm. If you come and see this exhibition, because we are going to give a confidence mm -hmm. to those who are going to build in the future. Yeah, that's amazing. And that's an invitation that's going out to you. That's why I asked at the start itself, are you interested in the housing and construction industry or 
anyone who you know spread the message because today as you know we spoke about and as you can see the chamber of construction industry of sri lanka is all set to host the build sri lanka international housing and construction expo 2022 which will be held on the 18th 19th and the 20th of this month which is march um, at the cinema of bandar like international conference hall so do visit and spread the message that's what we are doing today and on a final note, thank you so much for joining this conversation today. I would like to thank the President-elect of CCISL, architect Jayanth Perera. Thank you thank, so much. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us for this discussion. It was my pleasure hosting you all. And the Secretary General, CEO of uh, CCISL, uh, engineer Nisanka Vijay Ratna. Thank you so much, sir, thank for joining with us. Thank you very much for us. inviting us. Yeah. So I wish both of you and the team all the very best for the upcoming Expo 2022. Hopefully, after the Expo, let's have a chat as well how it went. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And to everyone who is watching us, thank you so much for joining with us. And it's up to you to visit the Build Sri Lanka International Housing and Construction Expo 2022. We will see you soon with another episode of Adhadarana Biz 24. Thank you for joining.